What's good everybody, Inada here back with another Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Striker video. By subscriber request, today we'll be going over the Mangekyo Sharingan ability Amaterasu. So if you're a ranged type who has quick reflexes, an Itachi or Sasuke fan, or you want to set others ablaze with black flames, then this is definitely the video for you. However, if you don't fit into any of those categories, stick around until the end of the video because I might just say something that you didn't already know about. If you enjoy this type of content or learn anything new, hit that like button and share this video. It really helps the channel out a lot and I'd really appreciate it if you do. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn those post notifications on so that you'll be notified as soon as I post another video. Before we get started though, let's just address the Donzo in the room. Now that that's taken care of, let's jump into this week's episode of Inada's Shinobi Tactics. Amaterasu is a range type technique that you learn from Itachi Uchiha at Training Rank 1. It has a 15 second cooldown duration. Amaterasu's description reads, This jutsu creates black flames around the target's feet. These flames remain on the battlefield for a period of time and will burn anyone they hit, dealing continuous damage. When you use Amaterasu, it stays in place for 5 seconds, and if someone gets burned by the flames, they continuously lose health for around 10 seconds. When someone gets hit by Amaterasu, they're also stunned in place for around 2 seconds. So let me just get this out of the way. Amaterasu no longer penetrates through Sand Shield. I know, I know, it's stupid. It used to be able to disable it, and because of that one feature, Amaterasu used to be a good counter to Sand Shield when playing a range type. I don't get why they changed it, because one, the flames are literally still inside of Sand Shield, and two, when people use Sand Shield, I can still see them right through it. Okay, did you know that I can see you? Yeah, I know, you're probably already thinking this jutsu is too hard to land. Yes. I do. Well, here's a way to use it where it's not so difficult to land. When you're in a fight with an objective that requires an enemy to stay in one spot, such as pulling up a stake, capturing a base, stealing a flag, or collecting a scroll, that's a perfect opportunity for you to use Amaterasu. Thank you for telling me what I already know. I'll give more examples just in case you already knew that one. When Shinobi Striker first released, Amaterasu and Totsuka Blade were some of the hardest jutsu to land in the game. I found that if you combine it with Amaterasu, you'll always land it. The way I used to land Amaterasu back then was as soon as I would knock my opponent down, that animation of when they're about to stand up, use Amaterasu right away. When you land Amaterasu this way, that stun animation they do gives you more than enough time to combo it up. The way that I use Amaterasu now is by combining it with Kirin. Kirin is a jutsu that doesn't always kill for some reason, but when you use it with Amaterasu, your chances of killing with it go up by a lot. Jesus Christ. Most people would say Amaterasu is a jutsu that's supposed to be used to attack others. I use it in this way sometimes, but for you fellow shinobi out there that have fast reflexes, you can use this jutsu in the same way I do. The way I use Amaterasu is to counterattack. That's right, Amaterasu is a good counterattack jutsu. Most of the jutsu that are viewed as OP have a long startup time that pauses them in one spot for a second or two. If you have the reflexes for it, that's more than enough time to use Amaterasu on them. When they get hit by Amaterasu while trying to use techniques such as Majestic Destroyer Flame, Dragon Flame Bombs, Lariat, Demon Hunter, etc., it cancels them out of the move. I'll give you a tip on how to know when most people are going to use their jutsu. You're probably guilty of doing this yourself. Most people who use the techniques I mentioned earlier, they have a habit of jumping to use it in midair. As soon as you hear their jutsu activation sound and they jump, or you see them do that starting up animation, fire Amaterasu. Not only will they be knocked out of their jutsu, but because of the stun, you can throw out an attack of your own. You can also do this when people are using scientific ninja tools. Practice counterattacking with Amaterasu to feel like you have your own manga kill Sharingan to predict your enemy's moves. Amaterasu. And then he died. Ah! And that's all for this week's Shinobi Tactics video. If you made it this far, thanks for sticking through to the end. Hopefully this video gave you some ideas on how to use Amaterasu in your future battles. Let me know down in the comments below if you think I missed anything that you feel is important. While you're down there, let me know what your favorite Mangek Yosharingan ability is. Keep an eye on Holy Materia's channel to look for a synergy build that you can make with your friends while using Amaterasu. The link to his channel will be in the description. This is Inada, thanks for watching, and until the next video, I'm out y'all.